All right, guys, Kevin the Stoic Reseller here. I have a what sold in the last 72 hours because I went on my big thrifting trip. And I'm just going to say, details matter. Okay, guys, I hope everyone who watches me had fun looking at all my shorts from every single store. As you can see, I got some really nice stuff. So we have... Um, a pretty slow weekend, uh, at least 72 hours. I had 19 solds, which I guess is above average. $766.37. Um, some of the details I want to discuss about um, include promoted listings, coupons, and uh, things of the sort like that. But we'll get moving on. We got a long video here. The first item I'm going to show you guys uh, was in one of my very first shorts where I was trying to be crazy. Uh, Kim's Kimes Ranch, Kim's Ranch. Uh, these sold for seventy four ninety seven. No offer, no nothing. Just straight bought it. Um, so that's a great sale. The next item is a pair of cool pants. Um, you can see these sold for fifty dollars on an accepted offer. These are a little bit of a higher style. Normally, I get about thirty five to forty anymore on cool pants. These I got fifty. Um, so I'm hoping the buyer enjoys those. Those would be great this winter. Uh, the last time I went out on a thrift trip, I got these. These are new with tags, the Vouchy. They had, um, on the other side, you can't see it, they had like a pen mark. I wasn't sure what to do. I listed these a little, a lot lower than the rest of them. Um, sold on an ex uh, accepted offer of $50.97. The next item is an item I picked up also on my last thrift trip. It's this Dixon flannel. I just listed this this morning, um, and this is going to be a good segue into some of the details I want to discuss. So I listed this without it being promoted, and uh, so there's a couple things I want to discuss here. Out of these 19 sales, only five are promoted sales. So what I'm trying to do, my goal for this month is just a test. I, I'm going to do two things. I stopped my coupon of 13% off. I am going to stop promoting my newly listed items. And I also increased my, um, I guess it's the ground advantage, uh, static shipping cost to $6. So basically I'm saving 5% on my promoted listings, an additional 50% to cover shipping, and I have no more coupons. So we're going to test this out. We're going to see how sales do. Um, hopefully uh, my selling costs go down to an acceptable level and my sales stay the same. That's the goal, guys. Uh, so we're we're going to... There's more details I want to share with you, but we're going to keep moving on. The next item is a smart wool sweater. Um, as you can see, these last few items are what I would consider summer item or uh, winter items or fall items. Uh, but anyways, this smart wool sold for $44.97. The next item we have here is a Taylor Stitch Chino. Uh, again, guys, Taylor Stitch is a great brand to look out for. I did not find any um, this last thrift uh, trip, unfortunately. Man, what are you going to do, though? Sold for 40 bucks plus shipping. The next item is Outdoor Research. Uh, this is the Ferrosi hooded shirt. Uh, this sold rather quickly. Middle of summer, guys. So I don't know. Sold for uh, 35 bucks on an accepted offer. That's really good. Uh, I've been finding this a lot more on my thrift trips. And I want to pick it up almost completely. The next item is another sweater. Or it's kind of a shirt, I guess. It's... Adidas Wings and Horns. Wings and Horns, if you guys don't know, is an excellent brand. It's like a fashion brand for men's, uh, produced in Canada. This is a wool blended uh, shirt, sweater, whatever you want to call it. The comps on this weren't great, but I had confidence. I priced it below the others, and it sold rather quickly. Uh, I just listed this on Friday, and this sold for $34.97. No offer, no coupon. So guys, that that also leads me into the rest of what I wanted to show. Um, we got, in terms of, um, you know, statistics matter here. 
So out of these 13 sales, I, should, I told you five were promoted sales. That's it. So that tells me that I may not need to rely on promoted um, promotions to make sales because I have such I'm getting higher quality items. However, seller initiated offers were eight of these sales. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Seller initiated offers were four of these sales and buyer initiated offers were eight of these sales. So that tells you how important it is to be accepting offers. I think if you're not accepting offers, you're losing money. And I don't think you can actually make it in this game without it. Maybe we play around with that later on. But I'm going to try going forward for the rest of the month with no store coupon, no promoted listings, and the increased shipping rate. Uh, the last thing I want to actually talk about is my sales for the last, uh, what, 90 days or something are actually down almost 12%, 11.9%. That is in part due to uh, Wednesday being an absolutely abysmal day. And my sales have actually kind of stabled off around 250 to 280 for the last three or four days. And today hasn't been so great either, but that's okay. All right, guys, I'm going to show you the rest of these items. We got some Prana Breon pants. Guys, I picked these up. I tell you anywhere from 50, uh, as high as $15. Um... So these sold for 30 bucks. The next item is a brand that you can pick up in women's and it'll do just as fine. But in men's, it does great. Uh, standard James Purse. Um, this sold for 30 bucks in less than a week. Something else that sold in less than a week is this Polo Ralph Lauren Relaxed Fit Full Linen White Black Striped Long Sleeve. Um... This, I went back and forth with a buyer. He was lowballing me, didn't really want to come up. I just started declining, and he finally came up to something that I accepted. 28 bucks. Next item is Untuck It. This is also something I didn't find this weekend, which is surprising, because generally I pick up a bunch of these, at least four to five of these shirts when I go up thrifting. Uh, there wasn't hardly any out there, and the few that I did see were over $10. So I guess you got to do what you got to do. Uh, paid, I got this buyer paid $22 for it. Next item is a cool shirt. Um, this did not have the style code, and I could not figure out the name of it. When it comes to these cool shirts, you need to know the item title. Um, that goes with any of the cool pants as well. You will definitely get anywhere from 20 to 25% more in uh, the offer price. Uh, but anyways, this still sold for $21 plus shipping. The next item is ASRV. These sold for $20. They had stains on them. If these didn't have stains on them, guys, ASRV is an excellent um, athletic brand. You need to pick these up regardless of cost as long as they're in good shape. Uh, sold for $20. Uh, if they didn't have the stains and issues, they would have sold for well over $40. The next item, guys, is a Lululemon. This is a City Sweat uh, shorts. Missing the jogger. These would have sold for $25, but I accepted an offer at $20. Next item is a Ralph Lauren item. If this wasn't pink, it would have sold for more. Uh, I sent off a 15% uh, off offer. Someone accepted at $21.22. Uh, it's still good. It's the, it's the big sizes. Guys, those are the sizes you want to grab for faster sales. Guys, I got this on super clearance. I didn't pay anything more than like four bucks. This is American Eagle. with the two extra large, new with tags. Um, got eighteen thirty eight out of it, uh, but took a long while. I've had that listed for at least four months. Uh, I got excited when I found this item. Uh, I've had this listed for about five to six months now. It's vintage LL Bean. Normally very good. You're going to, most vintage yellow bean, you're going to get over 35 bucks. Um, however, it didn't even dawn on me to look at this, that this is a women's. And vintage LL bean for women's doesn't do so hot. Still got 15 bucks for it, but I waited six months. And guys, the last item is a Territory Ahead shirt. I have had this basically since I started reselling. Uh, I don't remember what I paid for it. 
probably paid too much. Uh, it's just 100% cotton. Um, you can just see it's just a blue stripe. Uh, let's settle down and talk about this brand. It is a slowly dying brand. However, they do have uh, specific materials. They have silk items. They have linen items. They have pretty wild patterned items that I would still pick up at the right price. Uh, I would expect no more than $30 for a shirt anymore. So be cautious. Uh, one caveat to that, though, is if you find a leather jacket from this brand, those still will sell over 60 bucks if you're willing to take the risk. So, guys, you know, I, part of this business is to keep growing, keep growing your knowledge, of course, but also understanding the business. And that's why I decided to kind of dig a little bit deeper into my costs as eBay's slowing down and having site issues and things like that. Part of adapting and changing to the times is reviewing your processes, reviewing your uh, costs and things like that. Uh, as my average cost of goods keeps growing up, I need to counter set that with something else. So saving 5% on my promoted listings, increasing my shipping cost 50 by 50 cents, uh, eliminating my store coupon, which let me, let me tell you, uh, store coupons are a headache. They're nice, but I don't think I get as many sales as I thought I was going to get. And the other interesting thing is I get dozens of emails from buyers who, ex who I send an offer, they accept it, and they tell me they can't use my coupon. Well, duh, guys, you can't double dip. I mean, come on. Um, so anyways... It's just another headache in the works there. But guys, tell me some of your metrics. Tell me something you've learned this week and down in the comment section. If you like this, like and subscribe. And until tomorrow, for another What's Sold in 24 Hours, rule the day.